Good morning, girls and guys. Today is Sunday, best day of the week. Great day to be alive. I'm here with Dana, this is Gamer Rebellion, and, and we are going to be bashing on Halo 5 this whole video. Let's start it off. You capture the base, you hold the base, whoever got the most points at the end wins, right? Pretty simple. But they thought, we'll put a spin on this. We're going to throw little bosses into, uh, into the map. You kill them, you get more points. Good idea, good intention, but <laughs> there's these, like, golden bosses, right? And if you kill them, your team kills them, you get more points you than get 500 three points. bases. You, you, you basically don't even need to have a base. All you need to do is kill the golden enemies that spawn, and you'll win the game. All right, now let's get into this. Now, the enemies here at the uh, at mid, right? They're, like, some of the enemies that can um, that spawn, you get points for killing. West however, they're just recapture. normal. They're, like, white titles or something. There's probably a real name for them. However, Level I don't three care. Wrecks available. Um, they only give you, like, 100 points or something low like that. It's the ones that it names are it's like, gold. It's like the Warden Eternal give... and all that. All those yeah. guys. Those guys give you enough basically to win the game. Kill like two of them, the game's yours. You don't have to Yeah, them. you get 500 points per, per guy, so if you kill two of them, you win. Look at this guy. You didn't see that. This freak, I was doing all the work to the freaking um, hunter up here, and this guy comes out of nowhere and shoulder checks it and kills it, and then they got the points for it. So now look at that. They... We have the same bases. They killed one, and now they're at fifty points. It should be whoever does if like if your team does more than fifty percent of the damage, they should get the kill. Like it should be a percentage. No, it should of be damage. like just whoever's doing the damage. Like say I've taken, I'm I'm just shooting him a bunch, and our team should like slowly go up more. Like if he's actively taking damage, your score should go up higher, as opposed to whoever gets the last hit. Because basically, who, whoever gets the last hit for like the Ward of Eternal is whoever's team has enough Goshog saved up. To just rush the water eternal and steal it from you. Someone's opened more packs than you. He's got a higher chance to get a goss hog, and all you have are scout warthogs. What the hell are you gonna do with the scout warthog against the water eternal? They added I scout hogs, but they didn't add pelicans you know? because reasons. Since, since I said melee, let's let's talk about melee. Oh, let's let's talk about the shoulder power. charge. How useless it let's is. Let's talk about the shoulder charge. <coughs> now I think it's honestly the stupidest thing this entire game yeah if you sprint it builds up oh wow it builds, builds up, up this like charge a charge meter, right and if you hit um your melee when that thing is charged Level it does a shoulder charge to people now Whoa. what that does if they have full health it's not gonna kill them it's gonna just knock them back and take the like... shield down plus it's like 75 percent of the time when you do a shoulder charge you hit them their shield goes down but they have enough time to shoot your shields down before you can even ready your weapon again, so it's pretty much oh, yeah. an even playing field as soon as you just, yeah, do it. It's the ready putting time yourself at the disadvantage. After shoulder charge is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. And uh, since you said shield, it's going to shields now, just going down the list. Shields are goddamn I, I hate this sprint thing. No, yeah, exactly. The sprint system, right? So if you're being shot, and um, like say you're getting shot at, you're in a firefight, you're going to lose, so you decide to run away, right? Because you're a big baby. Yeah, just run. Uh, your, your shield will not recharge while you're running away. Which, Which means is dumb. that you you can continually get shot at and not heal, or your shield won't recharge, so you're gonna die. There's basically they've taken out the ability to run away. I don't get it. If you're gonna let people run away, I mean, let give them their shield back. If they're getting shot at, then their shield's not gonna recharge yeah. anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you're the one running away, it's different. It's always different when you're the one it's doing like, it. <laughs> but it's just like they're giving you a penalty for running. Like who? Which I mean, what, what game? To be honest, I don't, I don't really like it when my enemy runs because I just want the kill. But when I'm running away, I don't want to die. So I don't know. There's, like I said, there's two sides to it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, b before it used to be whoever's the best really would win. Whoever's now got it's that like skill. So many factors. It's whoever's got the most people with them. Whoever's got the best gear. You know, whoever's like skill is just so minor now. So you play more, you freaking get the better gear. Maybe if it was an unlock system, it would be a little bit <laughs> Maybe more Maybe if you better, had, you know, just a system like Halo Reach. System. It's a random system that, you know, you get a higher chance. It's like the freaking Incoming a jackpot. At the beach. It's, but I put more of my tickets in the hat if I pay more money. Because before, it'd be like, ordinance drop comes in. You gotta be wary. Someone's gonna kill you and take it. No, yeah. I spawn with it. There is no, I like, mean, skill. There's no fun to it anymore it lets it's, people it, it lets people always you know be able to play with the weapon which i guess is good but it's just it adds too much you know i don't know too much variability it's too it's too lenient like there's no 
penalties in this game. There's no difficulty. There's also no leaving penalty, which I think is stupid. Like, you know, Halo Reach, you can only leave maybe, was it like five games before you got a penalty? You couldn't leave any, it wouldn't let you play any games? Yeah. Which I thought was kind of good because it discouraged that. This, you there's just leave, there's no problem with it. What the heck yeah, is freaking... No, yeah. Do you see this right here? What is this? The what is what? I don't, don't see anything. You don't see this? You're high. You're high. You don't see this body right here. This body. Freaking out. No. He's always... Oh, right. No, he's just laying there. Alright, guys. This is proof that it's, you know, still a beta. Yep. Don't worry. It's recording on mine. your bugs to work out. So people would pre-order it. Because yeah. once enough people pre-ordered it and they reached their freaking... The desired number they wanted for it's profit. They, they just stopped working on it. They don't have to do it. Why keep? Oh wow, another dude spawned a captain. It's like why keep making the game? We already got the amount of profits. We already There's got no our point money. For them to have to keep making it. And like this, this game, this game mode is definitely geared towards people defending. Like you, it's really pretty difficult to teach a base. Remember what I did in subcom defense. It's always the best way to do things. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's really easy to wow. defend. You just sit there. Especially with Halo, because if you don't move, you don't appear on the radar. Which is good. I like that. People wanted uh, Invasion back, but instead of getting Invasion back, they went, no, we're going to give you Warzone, because it's obviously better. We're going to wrap up here, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here at Gamer Rebel. You know, if you can uh, click the link in the bottom or in the description, donate $5 to the cause. And, uh, yeah, we don't we'll have a link. See you next time.